this is Rob Scribner and I'm here with Scott Whiteside and welcome to RV Travel Buddy. Today I wanted to talk to Scott about a business he has and you've had for a couple of years now? Four years now. Four years now and it's called Central Oregon Snowbird Services and it's not a business for people to make money as a RVer. It's a business to support people that are RVers. Correct. correct? So can you tell us in your definition what Snowbird Services is? Sure. Uh, I've got several customers that either own a home full-time in Central Oregon and travel as snowbirds so they're gone during the winter, or customers who have rental homes in Central Oregon and just need somebody to check on them from time to time. Uh, so while you're gone, I uh, do a weekly or uh, bi-monthly check on your home to check for any damages, any water breakage, uh, broken windows, deliveries that were left, uh, any security issues that might come up so that uh, somebody's coming by all the time to check on your property and notify you or anybody you would like me to notify if a problem arises. Okay, so if, if I had a house and um, I'm going to go down to say Vegas or Yuma for three or four months, what can I? Ex wh what would you be doing in my household or what things should I be asking you to do to my household that I may not know about? Sure. We're going to come by with you before you leave and we're going to check the property and make sure that it's in uh, good condition for you to leave and be s fairly positive security wise that your house is okay. Um, we're going to come by preferably once a week to check the doors, check the windows, check the lights, make sure everything's turned off. Some people have friends come by and use their houses when they're gone, they rent the house out. We make sure that everything's locked up tight, lights are off, heater system's working, um, water pipes haven't broken, um, and assist in letting any workmen into the house uh, in case something does need to be repaired while you're gone. That's so, provided I contact you and let them know they're coming. Exactly. Right. Okay. Preferably. <laughs> and uh, so, um, do you ever have to deal with security systems like ADT or something like that? Um, you how bet. do you deal with that? Yeah, if you do have an alarm go off, you notify your alarm company before you leave that we're one of the people to contact in case there is an alarm, in case there's some kind of a problem, so they can contact us uh, 10 or 15 minutes away from your home versus wasting a call to you and you may be you know several hours away from home there's not really much you can do anyway yeah um so for a spa, can you give me a general idea you don't have to actually tell me my numbers but is this an affordable thing for me to do oh yeah if you think about the investment on your home um you know we have several different ways we can do it we can come by once a month once every two weeks uh in the winter time we prefer that we do it once a week because if you do have any kind of a broken window from a tree down or a water pipe leakage, uh, the damage is going to be tenfold if you're not checked on in a month versus three or four days away from when the uh, break happened. Yeah, and um, trust me, I mean, I, I want to say from Central Oregon, we were looking at houses last year. And I don't know how many houses we ran into that had water damage uh, because they were gone for either the house was evicted <laughs> type, or the house was gone for as a snowbird and, it, and it, the house got flooded because nobody was checking on it. That's the, the, the biggest problem, uh, the most costly damage that can happen to your home when you're gone is water. Yeah. Water will destroy a house quickly and then the mold, uh, the mold. lots of things that will take over if, if it's gone and taken care of. Yeah. Uh, do you, uh, and I've asked you this earlier, and. Uh, it's actually a very good question in Central Oregon. Do you take care of pets or uh, livestock? Not really, because normally pets and livestock need to be taken care of on a daily basis. Yeah. And we don't have a service that offers daily visits to your home at this time. That's more in tune to the professionals who are you know, pet sitters and people who can take care of those animals. Yeah. Plus, I think probably if you had friends that say you have horses, you probably want horse people to be taking care of horses Correct. and things like that. So. Um, I could definitely see, but I'm sure people ask that question, would you take care of my animals while I'm gone? It's like, yeah. no, 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 separate service. Not so, our deal. Uh, do you take care of mail or newspaper? You bet. We can, we can collect your uh, mail from the mailbox at your house or a lockbox somewhere, store it in the house. Uh, I can actually even forward your mail to you. Uh, just give me a, an address of where to send it and uh, look forward to getting your mail once a week directly from Central Oregon. Right on. 
So if you're going to have a business like this, and uh, if you're in Central Oregon, uh, please contact Scott. You, Scott's been here for 17 years, well known. Uh, I, I couldn't try, that, especially in Central Oregon, he's a person you could truly t uh, trust that, that take care of your home and property. Um, to do a business like this, what is required? To, if you're really a legitimate at doing a business like this, what should you have? Well, you need to have a business license. Um, I'm, I'm licensed, I'm bonded, um, so that if anything ever happens and, and I make a mistake, which everybody does, uh, you're, you're covered. But yeah. I wouldn't have to worry about that much. And I, I assume uh, liability insurance also? You bet. Yep. So, once again, business license, liability insurance, bonded. Yep. Yep. Um, and that's, Scott doesn't cut corners, and that's the other thing I really like about him. So, um, I thought this was a great idea to share with other people that might be interested in this, but uh, at the same time, realize that services like this are available to our viewers to just give you a little more peace of mind that your house is being protected. And, and especially if you're in an area that freezes, it has cold temperatures, and, and snowbirds, that's why they're going south. As we do here. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, you're, are you ever going to get into RVing? Uh, probably when I can retire. <laughs> that's right. You're a little younger than I am. So, a little but, bit. hey, Scott, I want to thank you very much for sharing that with us. And uh, um, if you have any questions, his information's in the description. Phone number's on the screen. I want to thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. Interviewing with us. And everybody, have a great day. Bye now. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist. RV Travel Buddy, which is tips, resources, and services. RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences. RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future. The insane RV360 videos. Our amazing RV.TV, where Amazing stories come from our viewers, and last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.